What's up, y'all? It's Lawrence from Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. And today, today I got this really dope unboxing. I got Superman of Earth 2 by McFarlane Toys. It was more expensive than the usual action figures. So let's check out if it was worth that $40 price point. Let's go. Boom. Here we go. As you can see, it's a gold label figure, which means you can only get this from the uh, McFarlane toy store online. Uh, last time I checked, it's not sold out. Uh, let me just get to it. So in this wave, you have Superman, you have uh, the Spectre, you have uh, this, uh, my bad, Psycho Pirate because they show Flash here, it got confusing. And Kid Flash. Now this dude sold out mad quick, but I think these three are still online and I can understand why. It's a $40 price point. It is a build-a-figure. You build, you, you build to the monitor. As you can see here, you get all these pieces. Uh, but we've had other build-a-figures before. A lot of build-a-figures that did not come out to $40. You can see by the box, it's not a... Uh, Platinum series. I think I have, I didn't unbox this yet, but I have my Captain Carrot. As you can see, this is the Platinum, you know, collector's edition, whatever. And this is just a regular release, but it's 40 bucks. So let's see if it's worth it. So I showed you most of the box, Superman of Earth 2. Let's get this bad boy open. Now, a lot of people complained about the price point and I ain't mad at them. You know, part of me is like, well, if you don't want it, then don't buy it, you know? There's a lot to sell his toys for as much as he wants to. But the other part of me is like, but does this figure come with anything special? What makes this 40 and the other one's 20? But for all I know, he didn't make that many of these since it's sitting on on his toy store. It's not going out to other retailers. So maybe it's a limited quality, uh, quantity, and that's why they, they made it 40 bucks. I have no idea, but let's see if it's worth it. First up, uh, let's get this card out of here. Now, I'm also a very big Superman fan, if you couldn't tell by my sweatshirt. So when I saw this, I really wanted it. I'm not collecting the wave. I don't like to put the Kid Flash body book they used, although that's supposed to be, I guess, an older Wally West at this point. And I'm not the biggest fan of the Spectre or Psycho Pirate, so I don't need those. But here is Superman of Earth 2. As you can see, he's much older. Uh, his S is different. And he has that little knitting on his sleeve, almost like his costume might be more like a sweater, like, like George Reeves. Uh, in, in his series, which is actually pretty cool. And here is his, let's get to make sure it's in focus, his data file. Ugh. Now what's cool is his name is Cal L, not Cal E L, like, you know, our Superman. So that's pretty cool. And you can pause that to read it if you want to. He comes with a figure stand. You've seen those a million times. I won't bring it out unless I need it. And he comes with two of the monitor's arms, which aren't gonna do me any good because I'm not collecting it. And these two hands right here. Uh, but what's really upsetting is for a $40 price point, you think he'd come with at least a flight stand. No flight stand for this guy, which is actually really whack and kind of upsetting given the price. Should definitely come with a flight stand. McFarlane, all flying figures should come with a flight stand. Let's get this guy open. Like I said, I am a Superman fan and have been collecting quite a few of McFarlane's DC Multiverse Superman figures. Not all, I'm not a completionist, but if I see some that I think are interesting, you know, I'll pick it up and, and, and I have a really cool display, well, at least I like it, of Superman, but like through the different ages or 
the different universes or just different, you know, comic book stories. So it's quite kind of cool to see Superman in his different iterations. So when I saw this, I'm like, well, how am I not going to get Earth 2 Superman? And there's some really cool things about this figure. Now, this figure to me, from the pictures, is dope. I know a lot of people complain it's dope. The question really is, ugh, is it worth the $40? Let's find out. Let's get him out without destroying his teeth. That's just, ugh. <laughs> These are huge. <laughs> are they that big on, they're not that big on the other toys. This is a brand new body book. For Superman and uh, I kind of like it man all right let me just give you guys a better look here get more light on the guy right uh, so here we go man this is the new body book for Superman the colors are straight up classic as you can see I love that the red and the blue they pop the um oh Gotta do a better lighting job here. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, pinstripes, they're painted red, just very thin. Little bleed over up here. So I can tell that this belt is probably red underneath. And in the back, how whack is this? For a $40 figure, they didn't even complete it. Whoever has this, let me know if yours is the same way or is mine just a factory flaw that's kind of lame but it's really cool to see like the wrinkles in his suit wrinkles here kind of reminds me of a uh, nightfall batman where you just really see that it's cloth this is just printed and printed really well if you ask me i think that's printed very well uh and I usually like, I, I like the McFarlane embellishes. I like the the molded emblems. I like it. But for this figure, being a kind of a classic older Superman, I kind of like that his suit would have it more of a printed on S. Uh, and let's check out this head sculpt. Sorry, I'm sniffling. My son's cold has got to me. Get more light on this guy. Check out this head sculpt, and he's not handsome, <laughs> but I like it. He's older, you know, and, and I know McFarlane always has Superman frowning, excuse me, but I like it. And there is some gray here. It's not crazy. It, it could have been a little lighter. But it's great here. Ah, so this is just poor craftsmanship, if you can see. It's almost like his skin is a little raised. Like they didn't mount this right. So that's kind of lame. But whatever. Uh, but I like it. I like it. Now, of course, the reason why this is just the dopest figure ever is this wired cape that we have and this is actually pretty cool material uh maybe the best material so far of the cloth capes although i don't have that what is it hong kong dive batman figure with the wire cape but this is amazing and we do have the s on the back is it huge Yes. Is it obnoxious? Absolutely. But I think it works for this Superman. I think it really does, man. This is dope. 
Oh, this is, I mean, if wired capes are the weight we're going here, I think that could be dope, man. This thing about regular cloth capes, I know a lot of people love them. They're just not dramatic, you know? And I like my figures on the shelf kind of dramatic, but this kind of gives you the best of both worlds in a way. So that's pretty dope. Let's check out this articulation. He's a well-made figure. He's a little loose, but not in a bad way, not stiff. You have all the kind of McTar McFarlane articulation, but this is a brand new body buck. And honestly, I don't, I wouldn't mind this for the new Superman body. I am not the fan, a big fan of the infected body at all. It's a little shiny too. I'm not. And, uh, So I wouldn't mind getting just more of a muscular Superman, yes, but not so ridiculously <laughs> just jacked, you know? Uh, man, so this is, this is great. This is great. Let's take a look at his hands, his other hands. And stands well, and I guess he would, because well, does he? Yeah. I mean, it sounds okay. I guess without the weight of a cape, it's not too much of a problem having him stand. Now let's check out these hands we have here. It's kind of, it's, it's really crazy this figure does not come with a flight stand. That's really lame. But you get these hands here, these, I guess, kind of flying hands. I'm not going to put them in, but you could imagine. And they're a decent size. They're not too big. Not like that uh, page puncher Superman. But let's... Uh, Let's compare them to some other Superman figures because there's no point in doing a multiverse type situation if we're not going to see how he compares with other Superman. So first up is arguably the best Superman figure ever made, which is that Superman 1000. Now, off jump, this is a great display piece, but I just wish McFarlane figures were more in scale in case I wanted to do a kind of Superman of our world meets, you know, Superman of Earth 2. I just don't feel like the, the size discrepancy should be this drastic. I really don't. I really, really don't. But uh, if you want to take a look here, just look at the differences. I mean, it's just amazing the iterations you can have. And pretty much Superman's suit doesn't change all that much. Not his classic suit, but the colors and the size of the S, the design of the S, it all makes a completely different suit. And that's dope. Even like, like looking at the differences in their belts or the difference in the way he has that kind of M logo in his boots. Like it's... The same thing, but completely different. I love that. I just wish the scaling was a little better. I really do. But that's still dope. Um, grabbing another Superman from a different era in time who has that infected body buck, which I think really works for classic Superman, this type of Hercules type of Superman, but doesn't really work for... I think the regular like Hush Superman is just too much, but that's interesting. These colors are the most similar, but still like he stands so tall. I just wish there was more synergy in the scaling, you know, because even even 1000 and him are different heights, but it's not so dramatic. And of course, another Superman 
from an era in time, which looks pretty freaking cool together. But again, the scaling, right? And then let's take a look at uh, this other Superman from a different universe. And that's what's cool about this little display I got. Like I said, I have Superman just from different worlds. And then you have like, you know, this Injustice Superman, which I think this is a slept on figure, man. This figure is amazing. Um, not easy to stand on his own. I just took him off of a flight stand. But this idea that, you know, Superman has this tyrant and they don't really match. You know, he, he's much more realistic. He looks like a movie figure almost. But in the case, just seeing these different Superman from these different worlds is great. And again, he's a giant. He's a giant. And now, you know, of course, if we're talking about different worlds, this Superman was kind of like the body buck. I think a lot of us said, why not just go with this guy? He's muscular, but still very much more realistic, not over exaggerated, like the infected body buck. So I was wondering like, which body would I want the new mold of Superman to be if I had a choice? And honestly, I'm going this guy. He's just too tall. Maybe he's not. Maybe this is the height Superman should be. You know what? Pause for the cause. And I'm back. All right. So I was saying that maybe this should be the, the body buck that Superman kind of goes with and retire this infected body. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he should be taller and everything else should scale to this new body style. Because for many people, Hush is Hush Batman in this mold is people's, a lot of people's favorite McFarlane Batman figure. But the problem is he's gigantic. You know, he doesn't scale well with these other figures, especially people like me. My hand was in the way the whole time. Rookie move. My apologies. But like I was saying, many people don't believe Superman should be this much smaller than Batman. But if we go with this body style, that works. That works. Superman stands taller than Batman. Both obviously six foot. We're talking six three versus like six two. <laughs> this actually works. I stand corrected. I would not mind if this is the new body buck that we're going for Superman. You know, that wouldn't be bad at all. And if you go in classic, now this might be too small. I think that's too small. <laughs> he actually goes better with him. Oh, falling down. Too small. But, uh, yeah. Okay, let me know if you guys want this to be the new Superman buck. And of course you can create <laughs> that, uh, that uh, crisis moment when Superboy Prime kills Earth 2 Superman. Superman of different Earths. Pretty dope. And yes, this is that John Kent head. I put it on Superboy Prime and I put Superboy, Superboy Prime's head on John Kent. It honestly just works better that way. Much better. He looks more menacing. Uh, and last but not least, just to compare, 
You've already seen this body book before, but if you want to compare the colors to that kind of hush Superman, this is the death of Superman, but I think it's, I actually don't know if the colors are the same, but still, if you wanted to compare just different types of blues and reds, there you go. Uh, I love the figure. Is it worth 40 bucks? <sighs> That's a hard one, man. Compared to, I I think it's a way better figure than Marvel Legends. Way better. And Marvel Legends is like 30 something and up. It has a cloth goods cape that's wired that you can get into some really cool dynamic poses if you have a good imagination and patience. Is it worth 40 bucks? When we have McFarlane figures that are pretty similar, that are worth 20 something or 30. No, it's not worth it because McFarlane is selling similar figures at a lower price point. But when you think about like Mafex figures and figure arts and no, this is not on that level, but those are also like 60 to 100 bucks. So this at $40, when you think of it that way, is not that bad. It's only bad because McFarlane sells the same kind of figure for much less. So is it worth it? That's really up to you. It's really up to you. It was worth it for me. I'm not upset. I'm actually very happy. I know what I'm getting into. The pain apps are amazing. The back of the belt is kind of trifling, <laughs> but I think the sculpt is great. I love the cape. I love how obnoxious that is. It just feels classic and ridiculous. And he's going to go well in my freaking case, man. And well with all the Supermen from different worlds, because he's going to get unboxed and he's going to be in a Superman case. That will be coming a little later. He's an older figure, so I got some other ones to do first. But uh, yeah, let's see, uh, check out some head swaps. If the peg will allow it. I hate that though. That is so ugly. All right, so let's see how this head, Superman 1000 head will work. Ugh on this figure. It doesn't. <laughs> Maybe, I just, the head is, it's way too small. I guess, I mean, I, 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 on the shelf it may not be so bad. The color does not match, but I think it's way too small. That shit doesn't look too bad. Yo, McFarlane's on their way with this body book. As of right now, I still will say that Superman 1000 is my favorite figure. But yeah, man, I think this is a dope figure. I'm loving it. Well made, well painted, some problems, like I said. <laughs> but I'm digging it. Um, digging it. Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth getting it? I'd love to know your thoughts, your feelings, your concerns. Is he worth bringing in to the Superman? Ugh. Family. I don't know, I'm acting like he can stand on his own. <laughs> Trying to make it all dramatic. But he cannot. Is he worth 
joining. He even has a hard time standing with a figure stand. Is he worth joining? The Superman family. There we go. Let me know. Let me know. That's all I got. I've labored this long enough. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Check out our our weekly series. We're talking geek news. We talk about everything. We debate. We have a good time. And I'll be back with more unboxings. I got some dope stuff. There's a little sneak peek. Got some dope stuff coming. All right. So I'll be back, same bat time, same bat channel. Peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. We're